Got your phone? Yeah. Keys, wallet. Yep. What's up our journey gang? It's Lindsay here. I'm here without Ray this video. This is the what's in our hospital bag video. And I am gonna show you what's in the bag that Ray and I packed for us and then the bag for Zari. So if you are interested to see what we packed, keep on watching. Okay, so first we have this bag here. Isn't this cute? Yes it is. This is a Betsy Johnson bag. And it came from Burlington Coat Factory. This is the back. Okay. And it was actually only like $30, guys. But it is so big. It is a lot of room in here. Um, I'm going to show you guys the inside. I took everything out just so I can show you guys the bag. This is the inside of the bag. And it has pockets on both sides. So, yes, that's the bag that Ray and I will be taking with us. So, to first start off, we have our toiletry bag. This is a Victoria's Secret bag I got um, about two or three years ago from one of the semi-annual sales. And I figured this would be perfect because it's not too big. And inside we have soap, um, Dove Sensitive Skin Soap. And this is a container we purchased from Target. It's just the Up and Up brand. Okay, so we have our bar soap. We also have Cetaphil, the Gentle Skin Cleanser, and the Moisturizing Lotion. We um, put this on our face, use it for our face for the most part. So this is the Gentle Cleaning, and then the Lotion. Travel size from Target. All of our toiletries came from Target. Then we have deodorant, Dove. And this Jergens Ultra Healing is pretty much for me, for my hands or whatever while I'm there. We also have mouthwash, um, Listerine, and toothpaste, toothbrushes. Um, my toothbrush is pink, hers is green. And then we have the good old trusty dusty Vaseline. Ray loves Vaseline for her hands and her lips and things like that. And she also used Vaseline um, for her belly. So yeah, that's everything in our little travel bag. And again, everything came from Target in the little travel section and it was fairly, fairly cheap, okay? Alrighty, so Ray has a towel, a bath towel and a washcloth black because it's you know it can get messy so just black and then a black bath towel um i believe we got these from walmart so yeah that she also has a robe that she'll be bringing with her that she got for christmas um just a robe this is the joe boxer brand and it has a hood with it so she wants to have that just in, you know, in case she wants to walk around the hospital or if guests come to see her. Okay. And it's so soft, that robe is really soft. Then she have underwear here. These are, and they're still rolled up with the tape, but they're the bigger size underwear. Um, I think they're like a size or two bigger than what she originally wears. And in the pack, for some reason, these were the darkest colors and these are not even dark at all, but We'll just throw them away anyway, so yeah. Next, we have nursing bras. So I did buy her nursing bras a couple months ago for her to wear now while she's pregnant um, because the jugs was getting big, baby, and she needed help. <laughs> um, but I purchased them from Walmart, and they're really comfortable to her. She likes them, so I went and got her two more. This is a black one. And I uh, don't remember the name brand, but I'll link it below. This is the um, black one, nursing bras. And you guys know what the nursing bras is. You push the little tab thing in. That's it for the work for me. Yep, push the little tab in. And then it comes off for you to breastfeed. And then you can just snap it back. So she has a black one. 
and a gray. Okay. She has two beaters, um, a black one, regular black beater, and then a regular white beater, and some basketball shorts. And this is just for her to wear in the hospital um, so that she can be comfortable because she doesn't wear gowns and little cutesy pajamas and things like that. She's not into that. So um, we wanted her to be as comfortable as she possibly could. So this is what she has for that. And she has some little hospital socks. Okay. And I think that's it for during the stay. And then to come home, she has a shirt. This is just like a train fit shirt. It's black. Long sleeve, of course, because we're due in February and we live in Michigan, so it is bound to be freezing, freezing and snowing or whatever. Um, so she has that and then she has sweatpants because she absolutely loves sweatpants. They're comfortable to her. So Yeah Just sweatpants and then the shirt that she's gonna put on over the black shirt is gonna be the shirts that we wore to our baby shower The pink ones that say mommy and mama on them. So those are the shirts we're coming home in So that's all of race things and I didn't pack me much at all y'all because I'm not the patient <laughs> I just need a change of clothes so I have bras and underwear nothing spectacular and then I have a little undershirt here as well black to put underneath my coming home shirt um I have this burgundy shirt here long sleeve burgundy shirt and then I have just some regular black pants just some black pants and then of course I'm going to be wearing my pink mommy shirt that I wore to the baby shower so yeah that's it guys for what's in our bag um, of course, we are going to be bringing along with us the camera, the charger, the batteries, our phones, an extension cord, um, phone chargers, things like that. Because we do plan to snap a lot during the labor process. And we are going to do a labor and delivery vlog because we are able to um, film during labor and after. So we just cannot film the actual birth of Zari, like her pushing and things like that. So... I was excited about that and then in my little book bag I'm gonna have snacks um, water gum just little things like that and Ray um, is allowed to bring her little popsicles and things like that so yeah that's what's gonna be in there but that's pretty much it for us now we're going to move on to everything for Miss just like you hear every other person say when they do a what's in my hospital bag video we know exactly what they will give us at the hospital. We had our hospital tour and the nurse told us everything that we will receive from there. And we also witnessed the birth of our godson DJ and we was there from beginning to end so we know exactly what they'll give us. So we did not pack a lot for her at all. This is her diaper bag, it's so cute y'all. It's so cute, it's pink and gray. Pink and gray and it's baby boom I believe, yeah. Baby Boom from Walmart. This was on our um, baby registry and our lovely cousin Mika and family purchased it for us. So thank y'all so much. But this is a lovely bag. I love it so much. Um, there's nothing in the front pocket. Over here on the side pocket, we just have um, bottles because we just wanted to see if she would like these kind of bottles. We have the doc Dr. Brown. Yeah, Dr. Brown bottle. Um, and we just kind of want the nurse and the lactation specialist and everybody to show us exactly how to properly use them. We know we've read the book and everything, but it doesn't hurt just to have them show us. And we want to see if Zari actually will like that bottle anyway. 
and then just a little cap for him because right she wants to breastfeed that's the plan no formula just breastfeeding so yeah on the opposite side in this pocket is just a white holder so i'm not going to take that out but inside there's a pocket here and it's the changing pad so yeah and then we have a blanket that we're going to take it is so soft it opens up really really big guys but it has butterflies in different colors and then on the opposite side is just pink and fluffy so we're gonna take this with us just to put over her pretty much for when she um, gets ready to get in the car when we come home then in the side pocket we have mittens for her hands there's a gray pair in there as well so just some mittens and we have socks this little socks and then in the zipper part we just have a few items we have a brush a hairbrush for her just to brush her little hair two washcloths just because We have the nose aspirator, so we'll have to get sliding stuff out. And then we have this Alvino Baby Daily Moisture Lotion. This is just in here just because I put it in here. We um, didn't pack like toiletries and stuff for her. And then a thermometer. So we didn't pack that stuff like body wash and all that because we know that they're gonna give that to us at the hospital as well. The nurse told us that's what they're gonna give us, a bag full of stuff, so we're gonna use their stuff. In this bag, there's no diapers and um, like no wipes and stuff like that other than a wipe case because, again, we're gonna get it from the hospital. We have this swaddle blanket. This is by Aiden and Anai. It's just a gray swaddle blanket pretty much just to properly learn how to swaddle her um, so we have that and then we're gonna start off with the newborn stuff now we're not exactly sure what size she's gonna be so we pack newborn stuff in zero to three months basically so we just have a newborn onesie just a white onesie newborn size love Carter y'all this um, is a newborn sleeper, Carter's. <laughs> newborn sleeper, sleeper and it has the feet. And then I put this in here strictly because I'm a 90s baby, raised an 80s baby. And we had pictures where we were in little yellow outfits with ducks on them. So I was like, she has to, it's only right. <laughs> Tell me. If this don't remind y'all like an 80s, 90s baby outfit. And this is a newborn as well. So that's all the newborn we have because I didn't buy too much newborn. We didn't receive too much newborn. Um, yeah. So on to the other thing. So we were more about her being warm and safe coming home instead of cute, if that makes any sense. Because, like I said before, we live in Michigan. It's going to be freezing in February. But we have this onesie, well, this sleeper. It's hearts all over it. And I wanted to take this one because she's due close to Valentine's Day. So we don't know if she's going to come before Valentine's Day on it or after. Her due date is February 17th. But it's still the week of Valentine's Day. So I figured that would be cute. So we have that. And then we also have this sleeper and it's super soft and warm. It's really thick. Okay, and it's wintery. So we have this one here for her. And then for little onesies, she's still wearing the hospital to take her pictures. We're not gonna have professional pictures taken for us to pay for and bring home. We're gonna take our own pictures of her in the hospital because I didn't see the need to do that, guys. Like, they charge you so much money and the pictures are not even cute. So, I can easily take our pictures, our pictures in the hospital. 
but we wanted her to have this onesie. It says Future All-Star. And then again, we have another one that says I'm new here. And again, it's with the like Valentine's Day theme. And then for her going home outfit, she has this shirt that says, God was showing off when he made me. You guys probably uh, remember seeing this in the hall in one of our vlogs. And it's just pink with long sleeves. She'll put on a um, onesie underneath and then put this shirt on, some socks, and then she has these pants here. Just some little jeans, some jeggings. Okay, so this will be her coming home outfit. I think it's still cute. Um, but if we feel that it's entirely too cold to just put that on her, then we're gonna put her on the sleeper. Because like I said, we want her to be warm more so than cute. So yeah, that's pretty much everything we have in there for Zari. Um, everything else will come from the hospital and that's pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoy this video we'll also show you clips of when we install the car seat in the car we have her car seat um and her stroller system but of course the car seat has to come with you in order for you to take your baby home but that's what we have guys i hope you enjoy if you feel like it's something that i'm definitely missing even though i told you guys that we're not packing a lot but if it's something that you like girl you have to take this please let us know comment down below and let us know if we're missing something or um yeah if you have any other suggestions or whatever so thank you so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video ray will be in the next video that you guys see our pregnancy update so i will talk to you guys a little bit later remember a journey with family is a blessing Mwah. love you guys